uh, you should get some rest today to prepare for your investigation tomorrow, yeah. Uh, you should rest early today to get ready for, for investigation tomorrow. Got to slip. Today is the day the school was fun was founded. Um, so you have the day off from school, right? Well, oh, brilliant. You need to investigate the town, right? You wonder if you'll be able to gather the information you need to catch the killer. Okay. Starts me off at Juness for some reason. Because yeah. that shit usually comes here. Uh, first, we should uh, retrace our steps. That would be the simplest way. Saki Konichi and Mayumi Yamano. There should be a com commonality between the two. Surely, fair. For some witnesses, any scrap of data could be useful, no matter how small. Female student, can I help? About these murders, eh? The incident last spring, I don't remember anything from, from that long ago. I'm going to be studying for college entrance exams next year, so I've got no room for useless information like that. Okay. Uh, I hate how it's foggy every day now. This is the season for winter vegetables too. What will I do if a fog really is poison? All my vegetables will be rotten. This is all because not enough people eat their veggies. <coughs> if only my son would clean his plate, he'd... Yeah. Whatever. <coughs> my god. Wow, those trees are dead. Oh my god. Refreshed old man. Hmm. Ah, it's you. Fog's pretty thick today. I go out on walks and I can hardly recognize my surroundings. Pretty sad, ain't it? But hey, thanks for stopping to talk to me. Um, fat lamp I asked you about, you're still looking for it. Yeah, I know. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Uh, my daughter was in an accident. On top of that, it was a hit and run. Uh, much like um, Dojima's wife. Um, forgot her name now, or uh, whatever. Nobody could tell what kind of car it was because of all the fog. Jeez, this is horrible. Thankfully, she wasn't hurt too bad. Um, uh, but she was right, wasn't she? That fog is dangerous. I need to start letting everyone know. Why don't you do that? The fog isn't clearing up, is it? Isn't that just a little strange? My wife is all business as usual, but I'm a little worried. Uh, by the way, do you need anything? About those murders, I'm sorry. All I remember is that something happened. I know it was pretty shocking, but what can I say? A lot of times passed. Uh, yeah. Maybe the little kiddies know something. <laughs> they never know. They never know. What's the old man doing here? Elderly person. Do you need something about those murders? Now that you mention it, the town was all a buzz last spring. You remember that, don't you? Nobody here? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Ugh. All the trees are dead.
Damn. You have to gather information. Try asking some of the nearby people. Is a uh, middle-aged woman. Um, can I help you about those murders? Uh, that incident last spring. I still, uh, I still wonder what happened. Uh, it was a pretty big deal, wasn't it? I'd almost completely forgotten about that. Wow, I must be getting old, huh? Yeah. <coughs> Oh god, Yosuke's trying to chat up girls. What is it about those murders? Uh, what are you talking about? You explained about the incident involving Saki and Yamano, the female announcer. Did all that happen just last spring? Wow, it seems so long ago. <laughs> Who's going to remember something from that far back anyway? Yikes. Uh, Yosuke, man, this fog, it makes me feel like we're still inside the TV. I wonder if we can really find any new clues about the killer. Uh, no use whining about it now. Let's step up the, res the, the search and get that info. Man, this fog has gotten has got to be some kind of biological weapon. It's a conspiracy. You know who I heard it was? Juness. Yeah, that's right, Juness. The country of Juness is staging and the count the country of Juness is staging an all out attack on Inaba. No. Oh. Let's see what Daidara has to say. Have you come to see my art? Please look around. Take your damn. Yep. <coughs> He's got enough entertain. You have really nothing to say. Uh, information on what happened before we entered the TV world. Mm. You know about that first murder, I wonder why it happened. Let's ask around and gather as much information as we can. We'll see you later. It's the Mau Marikyu Tofu Shop. An old woman is tending the store. Uh, I tried talking to this old guy earlier. But he didn't even see me. Uh, what with the fog and all. Guy just ignored me and walked off. I know it wasn't personal, but it kind of hurt. <laughs> oh my god. Damn fog, hurry up and go away. Uh, feelings. My feelings. I've been feeling poorly recently. Uh, you need to be careful too for fog. There's something about it that just gives me a bad feeling. Businessman, hey, listen to this. Rosette, Rosetta came and spoke to me. This is a once in a lifetime thing. I asked her for her autograph and what type of guy, she, guy she's into. Anyway, what do you want? I'm sure you can see how busy I am. About those murders, didn't they capture the suspect and put a lid on that case? Are you done asking questions? Good, now go away. I'm busy, I'm very busy talking with Rosette right now. Right. <coughs> I've been asking around about Teddy too, but I'm surprised how many people actually remember him. They're all like, oh yeah, fat guy in the bear suit from Juness, but nobody has seen him yesterday or today. He's loved by so many different people, where the heck could he have gone? Mm, 
Do you have to gather information? Shall I ask in some of the nearby pit palace? The bulletin board. Do you want to read? Don't look in. Even if someone's been killed, everyone just forgets it so easily. Everyone just forgets it so easily. But rumours Faye hear from friends and TV get remembered for a long time. Why is that? <laughs> it's been a while since we first, since the first two incidents. Uh, do you think we'll find anyone who still remembers them? Uh, the fog sure is dark and creepy, isn't it? Oh, you have a question for me about the murders. A little while ago, they said that a suspect had been caught. It was in the newspaper. It was that Namatame-san, right? Nope. Nope. I remember seeing him around from time to time. Oh, how horrible. It, w it really does frighten me. I don't recall seeing any other strange people, so I'm sure he's the culprit. Is it true that there were no other sus suspicious individuals? Perhaps you should ask someone else about this. Uh, like the old man. The fog isn't clearing even though this year is almost over. It's deplorable. It'd be so cold on New Year's Eve that I'd never be happy. Uh, what do you want? Uh, recall anyone suspicious? There isn't anyone like that in this town. I even know you, your fat kid who's staying at Dojimakun's house. Back to murders. I can't remember something from that long ago. Oh, okay. 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 What about this old woman? Since all I hear from everyone is poison, poison. I've gotten kind of freaked out too. Yeah, Corona. I wonder where I can buy a gas mask. I need to get one. Everyone else has one already. I want to talk about uh... It's me, do you recognize me? Why am I outside when I'm at home? I just see more news about the murders. I thought I'd stay out here and watch the sunset. Of course I'm going to watch TV when I go home anyway. Even then I can't see the sunset because all this fog, uh, I hate it. It's so depressing. Uh, do you have a question? Uh, recall anyone suspicious in a small town? It's a small town. Uh, if there was anyone suspicious, there would be rumours going around all over. But at least I haven't heard any news of rumours like that. So I'd say there's no such person. Right, whatever. About the murders. Oh, come on. Don't make me even more depressed. They said on the news that the suspect had been caught. If that whole thing is over now, right? What else is there? It doesn't look like you'll find any more information on the incidents uh, last spring. Yeah. <clears throat> you got to be careful when taking your motorcycle out on a foggy day. I wish uh, whoever honked at me when I slowed down more than usual understood that. He yelled at me for going too slow. What's so wrong with following the speed limit? Wait, or was I at fault there? Yeah.
I knew uh, I know nothing about books. No. no way I'm catching all the leaves of the trees have fallen off. I don't catch books. Uh my teacher said go home quickly because of the fog. It's nice not to have the girls chasing me around, but it's boring because I can't play soccer now. Fox's even gone so far as uh, Okina Station. You should return to Inabat and talk to people. Uh, uh, you asked about the incident that occurred in Inabat in Spring. Oh yeah, I remember seeing that on the news. I can't recall much about it though. Uh, if I should see a movie, um, what is it? You asked about the incident that occurred. Well, I never heard of anything. I, I never heard about anything like that. Maybe I saw it on the news. If I did, it, it was a long time ago. I don't remember it. Uh, I know people who dislike romance or dislike gore, but not many people dislike human drama. That's why I think it's a shame that they won't see a movie just because, especially zombie movies, I wish they were more popular. I used to love zombies until they started showing up everywhere. Uh, what, you want to ask me something? If it's about a movie, ask away. You asked about the incidents that occur, occurred in a bar in spring. That's not about a movie at all. Blah. 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 I know about the incident, but not many of us, uh, but not many of the details. Yeah. Uh, everyone's in lovely dovey mode. Oh, I've got a news flash for them. The cinema is not your makeout spot. Oh, it's Christmas this month. No wonder our butcher's shop is busy. Christmas, Christmas, huh? Uh, can we help you with something? You asked about the incident that occurred in the bar in spring. Uh, the thing in the bar, I think I heard about it. Oh, yeah, I think I saw it on the news. Or did I? In the bar, huh? I hear the street. I hear the stakes are good in Inaba. Yeah, I don't know nothing. It's a police substation, but no one is around. Is the officer on patrol? Oh no. There's is no inf useful information. You should return to Inaba and talk to Moby Bullers. Hey kid, the fog's pretty thick. Be careful on that bike, okay? Yeah, for fog is dangerous, be careful. If there's something you want to ask, what is it? You asked about the incident that occurred in the bar in spring. Yeah, I know of it. Uh, yeah, I, I know it. But I just saw it on the news. Did the victim's ghost appear or something? Hey, don't be rude. Sorry, I didn't know anything. Maybe ask someone else. You know. Do, 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 do. You can't be happy without money, <laughs> but even if you have money, you can't be happy without love either, which means I need a man with money. <laughs> I wish there was somewhere that you could go and pick one up, a man with money. It's getting pretty cold, huh? Mm. Is there anything you want to ask? You ask about the incident that occurred in Inner Barton Spring. Um, uh, um, uh, what was that about? This, this was in Inner Bar, you said. Uh, it didn't stick in my mind. I just remembered something like that happening, that's all. Uh, hey, will you do me a favor? I'm doing a test taste and I want some honest feedback from young people like you. Uh, no thanks, I see, maybe next time. 
Um, was there something you wanted to ask? You asked about the incident that occurred in Alabama Spring. The incident in Spring. Oh, I think there was a report like that on the news. I don't remember much though. Sorry if that wasn't very useful. Um, do me a favor. Eat the... Uh, eat the green one. You swallowed the green object. A harsh garbage flavor is fighting for dominance over first sweet red bean. You gave the man your feedback. Mm, I see. Thank you. That's very helpful. A local farmer and a patricia patricia decided to help me out. I'm trying to create a hit. Uh, once I do, I take it to my company. Um, is there anything I can want to do? Uh, uh, the red one. You swallowed the red object. Taste is a harmony of tomatoes and sweet red bean. You gave a man your feedback. Oh, okay, I think it's very helpful. Local farmer decided to help me out. How to create? Uh, is, is that it? And the black one. She swallowed the black object. It has a faint taste of eggplant within the sweet red bean. You gave your man feedback. Have la 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 la. <sighs> I wonder if the uh, reason for this fog is for a decrease in the ocean's temperature. In that case, I have to let him go soon. He'll be alright without me. Someone better will come along. Hmm. There's something you wanted to ask me? An incident in spring. Did something happen then? I'm sorry, I don't remember. You'll have to ask someone else. Man, this fog. It makes me feel like we're still inside the TV. I wonder if we can really find any new clues about the killer. Ugh, no use whining about it. Call anyone suspicious, a suspicious person. No, I can't think of any. Not from this town anyway. When I was just a strange person, nah, I don't think I've seen any. I mean, it's a pretty small town, wouldn't you say? If I had, I'm pretty sure I'd remember. Information of what happened before we entered the TV. Hmm, you know, about that first murder, I wonder why it happened. Let's ask and go, us, yeah. Call anyone suspicious? Uh, no, I don't think I've seen any suspicious person. Except for you, who's interrupting my conversation with Rosetta. Uh... Uh... Have I seen any other weird people aside from Namatame-san? Hmm. Uh, no, but I don't think so. deplorable. There isn't anyone like that in this town. I even know you. You're that kind. You're that kid who, yeah.
Can I help you? Recording a suspicious, suspicious person. Ah, I thought you mentioned it. My friend was saying she saw someone. I think she's just wandering around the shopping district. So why don't you ask her what? Uh, we should retrace our steps. That would be the simplest way. Okay. She says she's had a friend in a shopping district. But we already checked the shopping district, so this is a friend. Uh someone told you that I huh? Someone told you that I saw a suspicious person. Um uh oh that you remember Saki Kunishi, don't you? You know she passed away a while ago. She told me how that Namatama person came to her one day and started spouting all this craziness. Something about the TV. I wonder what that was all about. His relation to Saki? Hey, I don't know what you're implying, but you've got it all wrong. Saki was a good girl. It's just fat people misunderstood her. She must be referring to the time when Namatame tried to warn Saki. It seems the thing about Namatame making advances on uh, Saki was a misunderstanding. What is it? suspicious uh, I've had a lot of people come to our store but I can't say anyone was particularly suspicious <sighs> look like you'll find any information information on your certain last spring oh. we're not suspicious have I seen a strange person I don't know out in the country, if there was anybody strange walking around, everyone would know about it real quick. It doesn't look like you'll find any more information on a suspicious person. You have gathered as much information as you could. You should report back to the group. Chinese diner, oh yeah. Okay, it just advanced without me, without my input, whatever. Uh, you met up with your... Uh, friends, after you finish gathering information. <sighs> I'm seriously pooped. This stuff's a lot harder when you don't have a badge to flash. I walked around all day and didn't hear anything good. It was the same for me. There was absolutely no talk about the case whatsoever, let alone the true culprit. Ditto for me. Actually, in my case, I kept getting bombarded with questions and couldn't get them onto the main subject at all. <sighs> the 
The killer must be pretty good to have pulled this off without being seen by anyone in this small town. What should we do? Well, one steak bowl, please! That's not what I meant. But then again, I guess we might as well take a break. I'll have a crab and egg fried rice. I'll have roast pork ramen with extra noodles. You all finished eating the dishes that you ordered. Oh, now that our tummies are full, let's share what we learned, even if it wasn't much. You spoke with everyone about the information you gathered today. So, to sum up, there really was no new information. The end? The police had an unusually large number of officers in their initial investigation of the first two incidents. To find facts that even they overlooked would be difficult indeed, now that over half a year has passed. There wasn't a single report of suspicious persons being witnessed to begin with. Miss Yamano had ardent fans, whereas Saki-san didn't, but otherwise the conditions are the same. You know, every time I tried to ask about the case, everyone ignored me and kept ranting about the damn fog. Yeah, that or the Midnight Channel. I asked around about Teddy too, but no one's seen him. Gee, I wonder where he could have gone. Do you have anything, Naoto? Any new, uh, deductions? Without any new data to work with, there isn't much I can do. But there must be someone in town who meets all the criteria for this case. The killer must have a connection to both Saki-san and Miss Yamano. As well as be in a position to observe our actions periodically to some extent. Finally, it must be someone who could approach Senpai's house without arousing suspicion. <sighs> I need some fresh air before I give it more thought. I'll be outside. Just sitting here won't help you think any better. You decide to go outside to get some fresh air. It's snowing. No wonder it's chilly. Ugh, it's freezing out here. Maybe this will help clear my head and get my deductive muscles flexing. Hey, is it snowing? Too bad the fog's so thick, the snow just gets lost in it. There must be something that's been overlooked. It's urgent that you get over the roadblock facing you. The clues you need must already be in your hands. What's the matter? You should go over everything you know one more time. The culprit had some sort of connection with both uh, uh, Ma Mayumi, Mayumi Yamano and Saki Konishi. And judging by her warning letters, the culprit most likely knows about the other side and what you did there. It's highly likely that they also knew what Nama Tame was doing and stood back to watch. Who would know all, the, all these things? Another oddity about the case is that there were almost no witnesses. Both warning letters seem to have been delivered directly to your house, but no one saw anyone suspicious, no one unusual was seen around Mayumi 
ja, Mayumi Yamano and Saki Konishiaiwa, despite the police the, the, the patching an unusually high number of officers to perform a thorough investigation. There must be someone in this small town who fits all the facts. Person who seems to be the most likely culprit is what's happened. What's happening? The stream's frozen. Are we still alive? I think we are. The stream, the stream just froze for a minute. I don't, don't know what happened there. The person who seems to be the most likely culprit is. Teddy! <laughs> no. Someone else. No. Someone else. Toro Adachi. That's who it's gonna be. Toru, I mean. Toru Adachi. Yeah. Of course, if you look only at the circumstances, you can't completely rule out that possibility. Uh, Adachi may have been able to keep an eye on your actions. He would have been able to approach your house with ease, and he knows the area well. Thinking about it, you uh, encountered him many times while investigating the case. Uh, you learned much about the police's movements from Adachi as well. This is, this is no exact reason to doubt him, but something is bothering you. You spoke Adachi's name. Huh? What about him? Detective Adachi. Hmm. A member of the police force, that is an interesting approach. Well, what, what's, what's, what's going on? Why does the stream keep on freezing? Stop that. It would certainly explain the lack of witness reports. It's the same reason no one ever reported seeing Namatame's truck. This is a small town, so everyone must have known who he is. And since he's a detective, people definitely wouldn't have thought of him as being suspicious. In fact, he could use his position to his advantage and hide critical information. Huh. Well, if you think of it that way, I guess it's possible. But we're talking about Adachi here, right? I mean, really? Adachi? He's your textbook lousy detective. Oh, sorry, comes off that way. Are we really on the right track here? Actually, regarding Detective Adachi... I'm not sure how to put it. But there's something that's been bothering me about him for some time now. Yeah? Hmm. Huh. Perhaps it's just my imagination, so I shouldn't speak to... <laughs> it's cold. I think we've cooled down enough here. Let's go back in. Dachi-san? That can't be. I mean, he said he came to escort Ms. Yamano and... What? Was he at your inn when the announcer was staying there? When Ms. Yamano was staying at our inn, the media were swarming all over it. That's when Adachi-san arrived, saying he'd been assigned to guard her. He told our waitress that fame could be rough. Guard her? 
He didn't spend the night there? Huh. I wonder if he knew Ms. Yamano. I don't know about that, but I heard he did call out to a girl in my class. Why does my, um, why does it keep on buffering? Stop that. I found out this afternoon. But I thought, you know, that's just how cops are. So I didn't think it had anything to do with the case. Detective Adachi also questioned Saki-san, the one who found the announcer's body, on numerous occasions. I heard it was because there was so little information about the case at the time, but... It's certainly unusual to question someone with as strong an alibi as hers multiple times. Then you think he had something else on his mind? And that something is what connects those two victims to Adachi-san? Come to think of it, we've been running into that guy a lot, in all sorts of places. And every time he'd tell us what the police were doing before saying, oops, I said too much and clamming up. Was that all to throw us off the trail? It would be no problem for him to drop that warning letter into your mailbox, either. Not to mention the fact that he can destroy any evidence that might point to him. Uh, various peculiarities have begun to cast a suspicious shadow on Adachi. Then... is it really Adachi-san? It's him, all right. We'll need to confirm this. Maybe we're imagining this. We need to confirm this. This is still only a tentative theory. We should work to confirm it as soon as possible. This is now Toshiragane. Something has occurred to me about the case, and I'd like to get Detective Adachi's input on it. Huh? The transport? It's right now? Right, I, I see. Thank you. What was that about a transport? Detective Adachi is headed to the hospital to prepare for Namatame's relocation. We must head there at once. Things are moving quickly now. You feel that you are getting closer to the truth. guys doing here hey do you know where dojima-san went they told me he snuck out of his room again i assure you we've made it clear to him several times that he needs to stay put but he keeps going off on his own jeez with namatami finally relocated i was looking forward to going home so he's been relocated I've been wondering. You seem to be in a terrible hurry to get him out of this hospital. Huh? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, we can't leave him here with Dojima-san and Nanako-chan around. Didn't you guys think so too? <laughs> hey, what are you doing here anyway? Nanako-chan's room is in the other wing. Don't you think you should leave before Dojima-san finds you? If he catches you, he'll start pestering you again.
Adachi, where's Namatami? There's been a lot of noise today for some reason. Dojima-san, what are you doing here? Namatami's already been relocated. I was looking for you so I could tell you that. You did what? Who authorized that? There's still more I need to ask him about. G give me a break, Dojima-san. Those first two murders have been bothering me. His motives are shaky and his alibi is rock solid. We closed a lot of loopholes on the basis of his testimony. But that part's still nagging at me. Is this more of your detective's intuition? He's already been relocated. It's no use hassling me about it. <laughs> and you kids should really get home too. You're gonna get in the way of police business. Yeah, he knows he's getting, um... He knows he's getting cornered. <laughs> What's gotten into you today? It's odd to see you taking work so seriously. <laughs> Come on! I'm always giving 110% when it comes to the job. You should get back to work too, Dojima-san. Your current assignment? Get better as soon as possible. Mm. What are you all doing here? We came to confirm something with Adachi-san. You should question Adachi uh, about when Yamano vanished, about Saki's interrogation. Saki's interrogation? When Yamano vanished, we'll go with this one, whatever. Time the announcer went missing? I can't say for sure offhand. It's not like I saw her or anything. Wait, wasn't you her personal guard? Or something? That was months and months ago, what? too. My memory's kind of hazy that far back. Uh, you should question Adachi. About Saki's interrogation. Why wouldn't I question her? She discovered the announcer's body. But she didn't know much about it, so I only talked with her once or twice. Was that all you wanted to ask? Well, I hope it helped. <laughs> there is still something you need to question Adachi about. About the warning letter. Warning letter? The one that was delivered to his house. It's in police custody now, correct? Uh, I don't really remember. Hey, what do you mean you don't remember? I gave it to you to take down to the crime lab for processing. You're telling me you forgot? <laughs> I'm sorry. Your accident was right after that, and what with one thing and another, it sort of slipped my mind. Uh, besides, that thing was just a prank, wasn't it? Jeez, what are you asking me all this for? For crying out loud, what's this all supposed to be about? Dojima-san, you really need to get back to your bed. That's why your wounds aren't healing. And you all need to go home right now. Do you have any idea what time it is? <laughs> oh, he's getting a bit Nazi now. I'm going back. I need to get to the station and report in. Just one more thing, please. We know for certain now that the first two murders weren't Namatame's doing. Someone else killed them. Adachi-san, do you have any idea who that might be? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Because we think it might have been you. What? That's ridiculous! <laughs> Was that a double exclamation? I think that was a double exclamation, wasn't it? Yeah. We already know Namatami's the one who put them all in! Why is my stream so slow? 
It better not be, um, it better be syncing the voices properly. What did you just say? <laughs> oh yeah, he bust, he bust. Now Matami, for one who put them all in. Ah. Uh, uh, busted. Busted. Put them all in. <laughs> uh, he chipped over his own words. What's this putting them in business? Do you know something about the method behind their murders? Uh, Don't tell me that all that talk about TVs and whatnot from before was... I see. Now I finally understand. To tell the truth, Adachi-san, I've been fixated on something you once said. Before, I didn't know why, only that it sounded a wrong note to me. Do you recall when I read Namatame's diary? At the scene of Dojima-san's accident. At the time, I said, even the victims who survived and were never released to the public are written here. And in response, your words were, Wow, then that settles it. How, I wonder, would that settle anything? At the time, the police had no idea that there had been other attempted murders related to the case. You had no reason to say such a thing. After all, there are countless examples of people disappearing for a few days. Yet when I read the list of names, you raised no objection. Odd, that. What do you say to that, Detective Adachi? I don't know. I said I'm busy! <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Adachi! Ah! Oh, damn it! Adachi! Yep. Chucked himself in the TV. Name Namatame's hospital room. Adachi isn't here either. What the I swear he ran this way. Damn it! Where the hell did he go? Did you find him? I contacted security. Nobody's seen Adachi, and there's no record of anyone leaving this area. So he must be still in this ward somewhere. He's still here? But we looked! We didn't find him anywhere! That bastard. <clears throat> Dojima-san? For heaven's sake, what are we going to do with you? Sorry. I got carried away. Do you even want to get better? If you keep this up, there could be lasting damages. Have you forgotten how much trouble it caused you last time? Y you're right. Sorry. You've got to find Adachi. I need to square this away with him. Please. He hasn't left this ward yet? I don't think he would, but could he have... Yeah, I think so. If he's the killer, he can go through, right? You mean he went in through here? We searched every inch in the direction he ran off. There's nowhere to hide. I don't think we could have missed him. He was cornered. It's highly probable that he escaped there. If he does indeed turn up on the other side, that should prove beyond a doubt that he is the true culprit. Damn. So I guess we were right. What do we do now? Um... Hmm... Let's go in tomorrow, yeah. I think it's too dangerous to go in from here. 
We're not 100% positive he used this TV. And on top of that, we don't know where it might lead. Let's go in from Jeunesse, like always. It'll be fine. So long as we're ready for him, we'll crush that jerk in one strike. The extremely suspicious detective Adachi. You have taken another step closer to the tr to the truth. You split up for today and you all went back home. Uh, so much happened today. You're, you're very tired. You should return to your room and rest up in order to pursue the true culprit tomorrow. So much happened today. You're very tired. You should rest early today to get ready to pursue the true culprit starting tomorrow. All right. What's Teddy doing in the velvet room? This... It seems that you've come to the velvet room in your dreams again. But something is different this time. You don't see Igor or Margaret or Maria. Teddy is sitting here, not noticing your presence. Where am I? Sensei? Why are you here? I don't know. I think it's a dream. I could ask you... I could ask you the same. I see. How mysterious. There are so many things I don't know about. But I did realize something. I've been thinking all this time about who I really am. But I couldn't find the answer. I was no one from the start. Humans live in the other world, and shadows live in this world. From the beginning, that's all there was to it. I was just a shadow in that world. Everyone's worried. How do you get... How do you get here? Just a shadow. Just a shadow. I figured something out. That day at the hospital, I realized that I really can't do anything. As soon as I thought that, I lost consciousness. Then when I woke up, I was inside the fog. Shadows can't stay in the human world. They aren't allowed. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, that's sad. That's sad. <laughs> I walked and walked, but there was nothing all around me. Just when I started thinking that I couldn't go anywhere, I heard the noise of a car. And then I was here. That means Marie. I think Marie is also a shadow then. Because Teddy's a, a shadow. 
who's able to enter the velvet room. Marie is probably a shadow too. Maybe Igor's a shadow, Margaret's a shadow. Dunno. I remember lots of things now. My world is a place shaped by human thoughts. One day, a shadow living in that world awakened to human emotions. But humans and shadows are completely different entities. So he made himself forget that he was a shadow. He wanted to forget. He wanted people to like him. And that's how he came to look like this. I really am stupid. What the other Teddy said before, in the end, it was all true. No matter how much I search for myself, I have no self. There was no me to begin with. I'm just a shadow that took a different form so humans would like me. It would have been better if I had never remembered, but I did. I'll probably turn back to a regular shadow soon. Oh yeah, Sensei. One day, when you meet Nana-chan in heaven, apologize for me. Tell her. I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. Tell her I'm really sorry. You saved her, Teddy. Huh? Really? You told Teddy about how Nanako came through. Nana chance. Wow, that's wonderful. I'm so glad. Glad that I could at least hear that. <laughs> My heart feels so much lighter now. I'm starting to feel sleepy. What a strange place. It feels so soothing. It's not like my world. Something just feels so nostalgic about this place. Could this be your dream world, Sensei? Something like that. I don't know. I could ask you the same. <laughs> uh -huh. Is this your dream world? But I have no idea. I wonder why I met you here. What am I supposed to do now? I don't know. Let's move on together. You can stay here. I don't know. Let's move on together. But I don't know what to look for or how to find it. No matter how hard I think, there's too many things my little brain can't understand. But I do understand one thing now. I'm glad that I met you, Sensei. You can sense Teddy's pure and deep gratitude. Yeah. Yeah, maxed. Yeah. The Teddy Social Link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the Teddy Social Link. Your power to create personas of a star arcana has reached its maximum. Now Kemi has forged a bond that cannot be broken. 
by mastering the star social link you can now fuse hello hello I have no idea the light bearer bear bearer <laughs> Teddy's growth of heart has affected his persona as well yeah he's very electric yeah because he's weak to electric isn't he hmm what do you want to get rid of? <coughs> nope. 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 Maybe. Deals heavy physical damage to one foe. Nope. 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 Could get rid of um Revives an ally with full HP. Deals heavy physical damage to one foe. Mm. I might actually get rid of Gigantic Fist. Um, revives an ally with full HP. Mm. Yeah, I think I get rid of. Um, I think I get rid of Gigantic Fist. I really don't think Gigantic Fist is going to be really that useful, is it? Yeah. There we go. Teddy's all done. But I have to get going. Wait, isn't Teddy's um, persona gonna uh, transform? This is your place. It doesn't seem like somewhere that I'd be allowed to stay. Goodbye, Sensei. Before you know it, Teddy is gone, and Igor, Margaret, and Marie are sitting fair once again. Hmm. It seems the words in your memory weren't the only things you summoned here. This is a room for guests who have an ego that can be nurtured. Shadows, mere fragments broken off from the ego, have no place here. The water's strength has moved a single stone that had stopped, returning it once again into the flow. Mmm, very interesting. Igor has a meaningful smile on his face. Well now, it's about time we departed once again. This vehicle is still on its journey. There is no reason to tarry here for long. Margaret? Jesus, look at that face, man. We're ready to go. Let us depart. <laughs> ah, you are every inch the guest I had anticipated. Now, it's time for you to return. <laughs> I am even more intrigued now as to where this is all headed. We'll be waiting for your next visit. Yeah. Yeah. Juness Electronics Department. How did it go? Did you find Teddy? No, and no one's seen him either. Oh, that annoying little furball! Just when we're at a turning point in the case, too. We have no choice. Let's pursue Adachi for now. Whoa, look how dense this fog is. It's gotten even worse than before. What the? There's this malicious aura everywhere. It feels completely different from the last time I was here. I think we'd better hurry. 
Give me a sec to try finding a dachi. Does this mean both this world and ours are getting messed up? Our glasses work on the fog on the other side. It can't be normal. And I heard more people are falling ill because of the fog. I wonder what's going to happen. I sense him. Adachi's definitely in here. Are you serious? Which way? Hold on. So he did come to this side. Well, that settles it. There's virtually no doubt remaining that he's the true culprit. Once we capture him, solving the mystery of this world and the rest of the case can't be far behind. Then... maybe we'll find out where Teddy came from, too! Man, where is that bear anyway? Well... I can say for sure he's not here. And I know Adachi is here, but I can't track him down myself. Gee, Ted, why aren't you here when we need you most? <laughs> Maybe he's back in the real world, I don't know. Yeah. This place. <sighs> I see. I came back. But it really doesn't matter. I'm completely useless. Nana-chan, I'm so sorry. Teddy? It is you, Teddy. I heard... your voice. You said... hang in there. I heard... My big bro, and everyone else, too. <laughs> Nana-chan! Oh, hold on! I'll get the doctor! It seems she's asleep again. Um, Nana-chan told me that she heard my voice. She heard me say, hang in there. It could be that her frankly miraculous recovery was because everyone's voices reached her. Even unconscious, people are capable of hearing others' voices. My voice. And theirs too. Everyone. In any case, there are too many things we don't understand about her condition and what caused it. We're doing our best, but it's difficult when everything about her illness is a total unknown. Unknown? Well, if anything happens, please send for me. If I'm an unknown being, then the way I can change is unknown too. So all I have to do is make them not unknown. Nana-chan's doing her best. Sensei and the others are probably fighting now too. I... I'm just a shadow, but Nana-chan cheered up when she heard my voice. So what if I'm just a shadow? There must be something I can do. I can't just give up thinking about things. That's why I came back here. Right, Nana-chan? Teddy's strong will that allowed him to accept and overcome his weakness has awakened his heart's true power. What the fu- What the- is that rocket up his butt? <laughs> Looks like his rocket's up his butt. It's... I'm not too sure about Teddy's final form. Teddy's persona has been reborn. 
Ken, Kentucky Doji has transfigured into Kamui. It looks kind of stupid. Right. Okay. I need to get back to the others. Hang in there, Nanachan. I'll be back soon. It's no use. I can only tell that Adachi is here, not his exact location. Rizichan! If only Teddy was with us. Didn't he say his nose is practically useless now? And could he even help us find that bastard? <laughs> nope. He'd be no help at all. But he was always there to support me whenever. That bear's a loud mouth, but he's nice to have around. He's always so full of energy. He's lighthearted and always optimistic. I'm all right. I just got a little dizzy. The fog's so dense, it's hard to see through it. Why don't we call it a day? It won't do us any good if you collapse. I agree. If Rise-san became fatigued, even if we found Adachi, our capacity in battle would be reduced. Moreover, it's almost nighttime. We should return to our world for the present. Damn it! We came so far to run smack into a dead end! I know he's in there, too. What's wrong with me? My powers are completely useless! No, not completely. He was Teddy? able to detect Adachi, so... You little... where the hell were you? I'm sorry. You idiot! Bad bear! Bad! You're so late! Who do you think you are? <laughs> um, Rise-chan? Are you faking? No, stupid! Stupid. I want to help you all again. You know how much trouble you caused, you dumb bear? Where the hell were you? I'm sorry. I figured out a lot of things. Stuff about me and that world. I wanted to tell you all. You listen to Teddy's confession since he finally understands who he really is. Um, that he was only a shadow. And that though he was at his wit's end, uh, he was able to come back to your world. A shadow? You mean you're one of those things we've been fighting? Yup. Just like the ones you all know about. Shadows are suppressed human thoughts given form. Everyone has them inside. Wait, you say you're a shadow, but you didn't attack us. And you kept telling us from the start that you wanted to bring peace and quiet back to that world, right? But in the end, I was just an ordinary shadow. Nothing special about me at all. I did everything I could until now to try and make my world peaceful. But instead, the weird fog started seeping out into this world, too. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. If I really was special, then maybe... It's no big deal. 
I mean, we weren't expecting much from you in the first place. <laughs> and about you being a shadow, we pretty much figured you were something like that anyway. <laughs> huh? What are you saying? Here I am pouring my heart out to you and you say you thought I was something like that anyways? <laughs> no normal person would think such a pretty bear could really be a shadow. <laughs> so what's the problem with being a shadow? <laughs> it's true that you may have been born that way. <laughs> but you now possess the power of persona. A shadow is suppressed power. Once controlled by the ego, it becomes a persona. Doesn't it follow, then, that you must have developed an ego? Whether the ego masters its shadow, or the shadow awakens to its ego. The only difference I see is the order in which the process occurred. Oh! Teddy's practically human, then! Uh, I'm the same as humans? You keep trying to figure out who you are, just like all of us here. You can't do much on your own. You really aren't that special. See? What's so different between you and us? of us were pretty much a group of misfits to begin with too, right? You fit right in, man. I beg your pardon? Who are you calling a misfit? <laughs> Look at that disapproving face. Isn't that just you, senpai? Hey, that's not something a detective would say. Or an idol either. Jeez, <laughs> stop crying, will ya? Now's not the time for that. While you were gone, we figured out who murdered the announcer and Senpai. It was Adachi. Huh? Adachi? That total goofball? Whoa! I didn't notice at all. Looks like I'm pretty blind to that sort of thing. Hmm. But you all know him. If you can't find someone like that, I don't think I can help you. Like I said, we're not expecting much from you. Well, the main thing is, it's hard to get pumped about this without someone nice and fuzzy around. Yeah, what Kanji said. Uh, okay. Thanks, guys. Alright, now that the band's back together, let's take it from the top. Starting tomorrow. Yeah. It's been a while, but I'll do my best to look for him too. Leave it to Fuzzy. You've taken another step toward for truth. Seekers of the truth. Judgment. Look at Chie's hands, they're freaky. Since you'll start fresh again tomorrow, each of you decided to go home for today. Right. Okay. Alright, I think we've uh, got it. Yeah. Let's save on the official um, save data. Yep. Brand new Kotatsu. Uh, you should return to your room and rest to get ready for tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, you should rest early today to get ready for the search. Got to sleep. Uh, you fully recovered from yesterday's event. Uh, you should go over to the TV world with everyone after school. Uh, 
Okay. After school. I'll give it a try, but... If Risei chan couldn't find him, I really doubt someone with a dried-up nose like me will be much help. Hmm. 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 I do smell a dachi baby in here, <laughs> but the fog is completely covering up his scent. A dachi baby. Teddy, you can't do it either? When you look at me with those eyes, I get this feeling. I've got to sniff him out no matter what! This is my time to shine! <laughs> oh, I'm getting something! <laughs> Teddy? Hey, quit wandering around. You better not flake out on us again. Huh? I sense it from this away. Is it Itachi? Um. How do I put it? It's kind of hazy, but at the same time, it feels like I've got a whopper on the line. I don't get it. Very suspicious. This definitely smells. But that's weird. If I remember right, that's where Sensei, Yosuke, and Chie-chan came from when I met them for the first time. When we first... Uh -huh. Where was that? Oh. You mean that creepy-ass room where all the faces on the posters were cut out? Yep. There's someone there. Teddy, you really are amazing! It was just dumb luck. It's because that's where I first sensed Sensei and the others. Look at that blush. That's why it kinda smelled over there. Oh, I see. Wait, did you say it smelled? Wasn't that the room where Yosuke had to go to the bathroom and... Huh? You're saying he beat his pants there? <laughs> Ew, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> oh, you lie so bad. Dude, I did not piss my pants. Chia, quit spreading random rumors about stuff like that. Uh, well, it happened so long ago, my memory's kind of fuzzy, you know? Okay, guys, enough fuzziness. Follow me, the master of fuzzy logic! <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard you crack up in a while, Yukiko. Though I really wonder sometimes about your sense of humor. A cheerful mood has returned to the group thanks to Teddy. And you have taken another step forward, another step toward the truth. That damn bitch. I noticed her first, and she just had to run off and have an affair. Who's there? <laughs> Yikes. Oh, it's you guys. You're very persistent. Did you kill Miss Yamano? Give it up. You're the real killer. I don't know what you're talking about. You're not lying your way out of this one, damn it. Just being here proves it. Answer us! You're the one who threw Ms. Yamano into the TV, aren't you? <laughs> it was an accident. She started struggling. What else was I supposed to do? 
I called her out to the lobby because I wanted to ask her something, and then she started getting hysterical on me. <sighs> Who are you? Mayumi. And what's this something important you called me out here for? What they say on the news isn't true, is it? All that talk about you having an affair and whatnot, it's all a lie, right? Why do I have to explain myself to you? I see. So you don't deny it. You cut my eye, but it turns out you're another worthless bitch. What's wrong with you? Don't make me call for help. <sighs> shut up, shut up, shut up. I think you need to see what it's like to fear for your life. It'll get your head straight. What are you going to do? <laughs> She's a cheater. Yep. She's cheating on... Uh, is it two or three men? I'm not too sure. Is she married? I think she is. Yeah, she's got a husband and then she's cheating on her husband with Namatame and uh, Adachi, yeah. No! Ah! She, she fell in. <laughs> wow, so people can go completely inside. Good thing for me, no one else was around there in the middle of the night. That happened in our lobby? I learned about the Midnight Channel through some rumor. You hear a lot of fishy stories like that on the Force. But it was pure coincidence that I touched the screen and discovered my power. I burst out laughing when I found out. I knew right away that this was going to be interesting. So you tested it out on Mayumi Yamano? Nah, it was nothing like that. I'm a very sincere fellow. I was just trying to punish the stupid bitch a little for betraying me. Yeah, putting them inside the TV was never the plan. But you know, both Mayumi and that dippy high school girl struggled for no reason. <laughs> dippy. Then you were responsible for Saki-senpai's death! Saki? Oh yeah, her name was Saki Kunishi, or something like that. At first I just called her in because of work-related stuff, her being the one who found Mayumi's body and all. And naturally, if there was any chance she'd seen something, I'd need to know, right? So I was all set to be a nice guy to her, and then that bitch... What's this about, anyways? Didn't you call me in for more questions? Well, we'll get to that. But you know, I saw you this afternoon. You were getting pretty cozy with that Namatame. <laughs> no, that was that, that's a misunderstanding. Na Namatame was um, warning her about, um, uh, uh, getting kidnapped. Huh. So I'm not good enough for you. Well, I know how to deal with girls like you. No! God, these high school girls today. This world's gone straight to shit. <laughs> when I was in school, I wasn't allowed to do anything but study my ass off. I was supposed to be the best of the best, and instead they stick me in the boonies. But, I guess I got this sweet power to make up for it. <laughs> Life's not so bad after all. Get on your knees and beg, and maybe I'll let you out! <laughs> yeah, like that'll happen. <laughs> As if I'd walk into a death trap like that.
It was a lot easier the second time. High school girls are thinner, you know? Lighter. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Come on, give me a break. I didn't know it was dangerous inside the TV. It's not like I was trying to kill them. I mean, I'm sure they hit on Namatame, not the other way around. Ah, uh, he got... He, he's misunderstood. But... The council secretary will one day rise to public office himself. Mayumi and that high schooler were just gold digging. They got exactly what they deserved. I didn't do anything wrong at all. Shut the hell up! You knew from what happened to Mayumi Yamano that people die in here! <sighs> so what if I knew? Did you trick Namatame? Who else did you kill? Did you trick Nama Namatame? Ah, he called the police in the middle of the night, just after they found that Saki girl's body. The rest of the force had their hands full with the double homicide, and it happened that I was the one who took the call. Namatame said the police refused to take him seriously. You were responsible for that then. Oh, quite the contrary. If anyone else had taken the call, sure, but I actually did believe him, you know. That's the pattern to the two deaths so far? And now you're seeing a girl in a kimono on that weird program, and you think she'll die too, is that right? Namatame-san, do you seriously expect us to believe something like that? But... but it's true! If there's any way the police can protect her... Listen, there's no way the police are going to make a move based on a fantasy story like that. It does sound interesting, though. B but Oh, I have an idea. If you really want to save her that much, why not do it yourself? Like... You could shelter her somewhere. Someplace where no one could find her. <laughs> where no one could find her? Save her yourself. You can do it. I'm busy, so I'm hanging up now. Bye. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Of all the people who could have received Namatami's call, it ended up being me. Talk about luck! All I did was give him a little push. And he completely bought into his vision of this world. The more people you guys saved, the more he'd kidnap. Both sides had the best of intentions, so the game of cat and mouse would never end. <laughs> it was awesome. You gotta be shitting me! Why? What reasons could you have for doing that? <laughs> reasons? None, really. I could do it, that's all. And it was fun. I guess that's my reason? <laughs> you murdered people just for the fun of it?! Come on, all I did was put people in here. I didn't murder them. That's and true. Namatame did most of it. <laughs> but it's kind of like, uh, I don't know, tying someone to a log. And throwing them down river, you know, even though you didn't kill them, technically you didn't kill them. Um, you, 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 um, you, you really kind of did. I had nothing to do with any of you. You're just dodging the blame. Yeah? Then how would you prove it? He put people inside TVs. <laughs> you think the police are that stupid? What a jerkwad! I do admit, though, I never thought you guys would manage to track me down. 
I like that. Games like this gotta have surprises or they get boring fast. It's like when I dealt with that Kubo kid. That was fun too. Ah, uh, Mitsuo Kubo. Then you mean to say that Mitsuo Kubo's disappearance was your doing as well? I did sense something odd in his course of action. If he had special powers and wanted attention, why resort to a regular copycat crime? But that wasn't the case. Kubo had no such powers. In fact, he was thrown in by you. Am I correct? It had been a while since I last put someone inside the TV, so I really got a kick out of that one. Why did you do that? And how come Mitsuo didn't say anything about you? <laughs> you think that didn't occur to me before I did it? Come on, I'm a detective. I led him through to a room at the station with the TV, switched off the lights, and did it quick while he was still startled. As long as he didn't see me push him in and no one else did either, no one would believe him, even if he survived. Of course, I don't think the Kubo kid ever figured out what happened. <laughs> Wait, the police station? Yeah. He turned himself in pretty quick, actually. This was back when we didn't even know enough to issue a search warrant. But the other officers decided it was just a prank, so they pawned him off on me. I didn't blame them. I mean, a kid coming and saying, I did it all! It was me! Who'd believe him? But it looked bad. I didn't think anyone would come forward and take the blame for all the incidents. The police were desperate to pin it on anyone. If this kid really did it, they might have announced the case was closed. And if that happened, Namatame would stop saving people. I couldn't let that happen, or the game would be over. That's why I told the others I sent him home. I came up with the idea to put him inside the TV on the spot. The game would be over? You threw him in just so your fun wouldn't end? You gotta have some excitement in life, don't you agree? But then you guys put your foot in it yet again and ruined my fun. <laughs> Thanks to you, Kubo was arrested again, and everyone acted like he was the true culprit behind it all. Scooby Doo. It's like Scooby Doo. I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you damn kids. <laughs> Couldn't they see how badly he copied the crime scene? It worked out in the end though, because good old Namatame kept saving people. I guess the guy started to develop some kind of messiah complex, huh? <laughs> what an idiot. This is all a game to you. How dare you murder people? Murder Saki Senpai for such a stupid reason! You bastard! I'll never forgive you! You can keep your forgiveness. Our world will probably become just like this place soon enough, anyways. Didn't you notice? The fog's leaking out. Everything on that side's pretty much screwed. The two worlds will merge soon, and then there'll be no difference, no sides anymore. What the hell's he talking about? This isn't his real body. The real Adachi is somewhere else. But this guy feels different from an ordinary shadow. It doesn't seem like he's going berserk. <laughs> wow, you can tell that much? This me is just around to greet you guys, and thank you for wasting your time by chasing me in here. I'd say this world has taken a real shine to me. I feel like it's giving me everything I've ever wanted. And the monsters don't attack me at all. Maybe they can tell we have the same goal. The Shadow's goal? By the end of the year, Inaba will disappear completely into the fog. Soon, this place will be reality. I'll be in this world, so if you want me, come and get me. This world has a mind of its own. We'll see which of us it favors. Keep your bullshit to yourself. It 
It's about time you shut the hell up. We'll finish this right now! What a chump! Didn't I just tell you the real me is somewhere else? I'll be expecting you all. We'll put an end to this. Get back here, you! That stuff about the world's mind and how this place will become our reality. Was he serious? The rest of his confessions were consistent. We'd best proceed under the assumption that it's no lie. It felt like... He's gained some strong power after coming here. Not only that, maybe he got taken over by that power. So what he said about the two worlds becoming one, that's really gonna happen? Didn't he say that it would happen by the end of this year? What happens then? I think he means... This world will engulf the human world. The people in town are acting weird. It's like when the shadows that emerged from people went berserk. If the fog gets even thicker, and this town is completely shut off from the outside world, then the other side might become full of shadows, like over here. You mean everyone's gonna turn into shadows? Damn it! Damn that bastard! Why? We went through so much to get here, and now it turns out he was pulling our strings this whole time? Let's end this. Yeah. It's about time we finished this. I don't want to feel this way ever again. There's a path we can take now. I sense Adachi's presence from that direction. He's taunting us. Bring it on! Let's go kick his ass right now! Wait. I suggest we prepare ourselves first. We can't let him stab us in the back ever again. We must face him with all the power at our disposal, and defeat him without fail. I'm a little worried what he means by the end of the year, but now's not the time to freak out. Let's get prepared! Let's get over-prepared and leave footprints all over his stupid smug face! By pulling all your strength, the path to the truth has been opened. Yeah. The unexpected true culprit has finally been confirmed. Before the end of the year, if his town will be swallowed by the fog, you must finish things before then. You resolve... You resolve to be fully prepared before facing Adachi after school evening. Uh, you should return to your room and rest to get ready for the search. Okay. Uh, you should rest early today to get ready for the search. Go to sleep. Okay. Ah, it's Marie. Hello, it's me. Look, I want to see more places. Show me around, okay? I am being... I'm being bored to death in this room, but when you're not here, it's just awful. I'll ask Margaret to let me out, let me go out more often too. Bye. Okay. Marie hangs up. 
you have a feeling you'll be spending a lot more time with Marie. You should find some time to visit her. Um, mm, there's now a grainy effect to yikes. Uh, you overhear students talking. Uh, scared student, is this fog getting thicker and thicker, or is it just me? Does this mean the world's coming to an end? I actually heard someone say that. What do you think's gonna happen? Earthquake? Tsunami? Uh, braided girl? Um, huh? Nothing's gonna happen, it's just fog, you doofus. Besides, if something terrible happens, the defense force, <laughs> Earth defense force or something, is sure to come save us. Yeah, I guess you're right. Ah, uh, what if some giant monster attacks in the battle? Aliens? I saw a movie about something like that. Look at that grain effect. Lunchtime. Hey, everyone. If they posted the test results. Uh, that awful moment of truth. Oh well. Wanna check it out? You decided to check the test results. <coughs> you got the highest score. Ah. Nice, I got the highest score. Well, you're a genius now, Kami. That's awesome. I'm just as happy as if I'd got the highest grade myself. The social link friends seem to be looking at you admiringly. You feel fat. You became closer to your school friends. Lunch break is almost over. You decided to return to class. Yeah. Yeah. I got 10 out of 10. Yeah. Got 100%. Class is ended for today. The real cop has finally been identified. Is it possible that the fog will shroud the entire world by the end of the year? Regardless, you must defeat the one behind all this before, before then. Alright. Okay. What time is it? Okay. Um. Okay. Uh. Alright, I think I'm going to call it it for today. So, thanks for watching and I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow where I will be going inside the TV, hopefully.